A pastor in Dallas has issued the married couples in his congregation an unusual challenge to have sex for seven days. If you're married, I'm going to challenge you. I can't make you, but I'm going to challenge you to have sex with your spouse for seven straight days, beginning next Sunday. <laughs> Joining us from Dallas, Ed Young, Senior Pastor at Fellowship Church. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Why this challenge? What is the goal here? Well, the goal is for the church to talk about sex because, after all, God is the one who invented sex, and he tells us to do it, but he says to do it in marriage. And sex is really the super glue, Julie. I believe it's, it's a real reflection of how the marriage is going. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could get 20,000 people having sex for seven straight days? And I think some of the issues that you have to deal with prior to going to bed together, that, that's going to be the real take home from this uh, sex experiment that we're doing. We heard some laughter in the crowd. What has the reaction be, been from the congregants and the community there? You know, it's been overwhelmingly positive because so many people are whining during the economy. I thought about how do we change whining into whoopee. And we, we had people, we had guys who were texting their friends during the sermon. They were like, man, you got to be here next week. You won't believe what's going to happen. So it's, it, it's been great. We, we've had a few people to go, man, I wonder why you're doing this. Or that's kind of odd, you know, talking of, about making love in church. But again, I think the church has allowed the culture to hijack sex from the church. And it's time that we move the bed back in church and put God back in the bed. And, and I, I think we are the real sex experts because after all, we're made in God's image and, and he's the one who wants us to do it his way. So are we four days now into this challenge? No, the challenge starts this Sunday. This coming and, Sunday, okay. Yeah, and, and, and even my wife and I are going to do this. We've been married for 26 years, <laughs> and we have four kids, so I'm looking forward to it. It'll be one of the greatest Thanksgivings ever. Well, you got to <laughs> practice what you preach, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yes, that's right. Now, you've asked um, your parishioners to email their thoughts and feelings during this week. Right. Why? What is going to happen with that information? You know, I just think we'll get some real issues out on the table. I think they'll deal with some forgiveness stuff, some maybe hurt feelings. I think uh, there's a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety because of this, of this tough time we're going through. And I think it'll solidify a lot of marriages. And I think this, this experiment that we're doing will be a launching pad to take many, many marriages to a whole nother level. So that's what we're looking forward to doing. So we're going to do a follow-up service where we actually read and talk about some of the responses, some of the feelings that the husbands and the wives are having. Mm. And we're going to get them to fill this out in a, in a little book and email it to us. So it's going to be a, right. a cool thing. All right. Well, happy Thanksgiving, Pastor Ed Young. Good <laughs> luck to it. you.